Welcome to Deep Thought. Look below the surface with the Trump-Kim Summit. Now, I know some people, they fired up. They're probably ready to get President Trump the uh, Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> Something, because I was looking at it, I was like, wow. You know, because at first I was just looking at it at the surface, because I ain't, I ain't really take this threat of nuclear war seriously anyway. Right. And I'll get into that in a second. Why I never did. But I never took that seriously. I was just like, oh, it's good theater. Right. Because I always know there's something going on below the surface. Right. So I said, I, right. you know, and to be honest, I really wasn't motivated to find out. I really wasn't. You know, sometimes you pay attention to world events and you just keep a loose eye on it because really there's so much to choose from. If really to really keep an eye on everything, really to think about everything going on because it's all connected, you would have, I would need, basically I would need like some steady like pension income or something where I don't have to work because that is that type of work. Is that this like think tank level research because you got to monitor all the news stories, do all that stuff. I just don't have time, right? But anyway... It was interesting because on um, anybody who has Windows, they know they got like all these apps and stuff uh, on there that comes with it, right? And one of the apps I'll check out um, is the Money app, and you got a story, you know, money. And as a wise man told me, if you want to know what's going on in the world, don't read the regular newspaper. Always read like uh, Wall Street Journal or Financial Times, something like that. Read the financial stuff. That'll tell you everything else that's going on. Because it's all, and as I said in my previous podcast, you know, money itself is metaphysical. So, you know, I was checking it out, how money flowing. And you can learn a lot by doing that, right? Just as an aside, real quick, real quick tangent, you know, one of the things I was going through, like um, in the money on, on the app, on the on the computer, I, you know, they were talking about like 50 cities that are losing population, 50 poorest cities, all that, that's an economic thing right there. Cities gaining. That's economics. When people moving around, migrating and stuff, that's economics. People only migrate not because, oh, yeah, I love this place. No, nah, there's a job there. Or there aren't jobs there. And then with the jobs, lack of jobs come crime because people still want stuff and all of that. So if you want to know why stuff is happening, why people voting for a particular politician, follow the money. So anyway, right? I remember I saw one article on there, and it was like, it was just brief because I, I was looking for something else and had some other stuff I was doing at the same time. And I was just like, oh, you know, some investors, they see there might be some openings in North Korea. And I went back to look for the article, but, you know, they refresh stuff quick. Right. And I was just like, they had something else there about investors are possibly looking at. Now, right now, North Korea is closed. It's closed off to people. And even people who've done business, they have had their stuff confiscated. Right. But it said some interesting things. They said this article um, talking about investors really checking it out. They was like, one, they got a young population. Youth want things. They have an underground entrepreneurial bent. You know, that's something else, too. And then two things. They got rare earth metals and iron ore. That's a lot of stuff. So when I saw that, I was like, and plus the previous article, which I had to really look for, but I could probably do a search and stuff and see what's going on there, what's in North Korea. You know how much money is there? So, you know, you're looking at this Trump-Kim thing, right? I want y'all to think about it. This ain't going to be too long a podcast, but just think about it. Y'all looking at this Trump-Kim thing and thinking, oh, he's doing such a great thing. It was like, no. No, they, that's more than just that. They, they're a little too happy. Like, how you go from, think about something. Let's, let's, let's think about this like you in the barbershop. You know how one of those brothers be like, yo, man, how you how you going to go from being ready to destroy each other to, you know, shaking hands and smiling and all of that? And Trump talking about, he talking all this trash, then he going to invite him over to his house and stuff. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but y'all need to think about that. How y'all, it was like, no, it's, it's you, capitalism. Let me tell you what, capitalism and inv inv investors, shoot, they got a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of customers there. You you think, do you normalize relations? You don't think uh, those South Koreans going to be crossing that border soon? <laughs> They'll be over there with a quickness. 
why you think a lot of this stuff is happening? Don't think just because, oh, it's just the right thing. Or even a denuclearization, uh, denuclearization thing. My word to trip over, right? I'm just like, okay, there ain't nobody going to like risk being bloated up. In the United States, trust me, the capitalists like, nah, man, don't bomb it. See what they do want. They do want some money. Shit, yeah, you get some investment, you don't think that dude going to benefit from it? Shit, he's like, see, that's the whole thing. You can only live so much. You, please, they'll probably, shit, they'll probably jump into that. Shit, that's the same thing with Cuba, really. You know, when Obama opened up Cuba, you know, you got some people kind of funky about it, but, phew, shit, how much money Cuba making and how many U.S. businesses down there? Because uh, I'm going to tell you what. When you look at the history of colonialism, it was the history, uh, the proto-history of capitalism. It was a business thing. When people go into an area, they, they, they don't, they, it's not that whole thing. They just want to go into an area and just conquer just to say we conquer. And there's a general feeling with some people who are unpolitically uh, sophisticated and also don't really understand history and why things happen. They think people just go in some place and oh, we're going to civilize these people. No. Like in, when Europe went into Africa, shoot, they wanted the raw materials. Shoot. Them sending the Bible and just wanting the real estate. Psh, they ain't just want the real estate just to want it. Shoot, it's uncomfortable as hell in Africa for like many Europeans. But they had all those like, you know, what I still say are useless like rocks that, you know, you got to put on the ring or on the finger of some ungrateful woman. Yeah, diamonds. Well, I ain't going to say they're totally useless. You can use them for lasers. Other than that, they're, they're useless, but you got a ton of it there. <laughs> so it's like in other metals. If you're using a, if you're using a smartphone or something, uh, thank someone in the Congo. You know, a whole bunch of stuff, oil, a whole bunch of stuff. People ain't just there just to be there. It's an economic thing. People want that stuff. They want that material. Then they want to. <laughs> Ironically, they'll get those materials, refine it, then sell it back to the people. <laughs> yeah. But look below the surface. Whenever you see stuff like that, okay, ask the business question. Always ask the business question. You know, even the thing about people talk about, oh, that's communism. Oh, that's capitalism. The only difference is, is who owns it. <laughs> you know, a private person owns it in one instance and the state owns it in another one. Right, that's all. That's is that's all it is. Control, and one politicians do it, another businessmen do it. But yeah, look below the surface. Start looking at it, and it's funny. I wasn't even planning to do that. It was just kind of accident. I saw that because, like I said, I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, I was like, if, if something come up and I need to like look deeper into it. But when you see stuff like that, like in any place, always ask what's there. In Syria, there's a well there. Always ask. There's always some resource there, something. It might, you know what? The resource might just be a pop, a population, right? Like, for instance, right? Say there's a pop population someplace. Okay, here's an example, and this is one Rom could use, right? Say there's a population of guys there who, for whatever reason, don't got any game, Right? They don't got any game. They're having trouble with the women and stuff. All of a sudden, this opened up. I'm like, hey, I can find somebody who can, uh, I trust who can write, who can translate to Korean. Boom, I got a big market right there. <laughs> shoot, Rob make a lot of money. I was, shoot, I might even do that. Find some, oh, I just thought of something. Wow. I just think, I, I just had a business idea. I got to talk to this young lady, right? I gotta talk to this young lady. Um, shoot, it just hit me. Wow, thank you, <laughs> thank you. I might have something there. Oh snap! Yeah, but anyway, right? Just uh, think about it. I would you like whatever business you got, you like boom. Especially if they get internet, you know, beyond you know the alleged hacking they've done of uh, different companies. Like, really get it? They can get on the World Wide Web? Boom. <laughs> I'm like, shit. Seriously, always look below. There's always some money involved. But look, I'm going to tell you what. Say what you want about Trump. 
he got some backing. He, he got some backing because the business people love his ass because they, they probably don't give a shit about his politics anyway. They like, hey, you making it easier for us. Quasi is kept and a lot of those business people are probably people who would not want Trump near them, but it's about business. So, yeah, I'm going to look at that thing and just study it, just seriously. I'm, that's one thing what I'm going to do I'm gonna, uh, when I get some ch- a chance to really see what they got over there that people want to get at. Because when you see stuff like this, come on now. They just talking about blowing each other up. Now they chummy. And yeah, they're going, they're still going to be some sniping for show. But it's about business. You know, people trying to get paid. Yeah. And one thing I'll say here, even though I'll say straight up, I'm not a fan of uh, President Trump. But I wouldn't be surprised he gets reelected. But that's another... Uh, that's another video because I'll just say this people think more with uh, people think a certain way when there's food in their stomach that's all that has to happen <laughs> people just need to be well fed enough when um, it comes to re-election people will hold their nose and say you know what I can't stand him he racist he sexist but shoot I was able to get that Christmas ham <laughs> that's all you need <laughs> So anyway, Ray, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Peace and blessings.